So let's create a video media node. I'll locate my media, in this case in my streaming assets folder, and then press S since this particular video is stereoscopic. Before introducing you to the video timeline, it would be useful to add a few hotspots and prefabs to this video node so that we can show you how the video timeline works. With the prefab selected, you'll still get the usual prefab runtime data window in the bottom right. But if you don't have the prefab selected, the timeline view will take up the full bottom of your screen. Here, you can see a list of all the different hotspots you have on this node. And you can drag around the min-max sliders in order to map out when your hotspots and prefab should be visible or active. In the case of a hotspot, by default, the visibility will be animated and handled for you. In the case of a prefab, the prefab game object will be enabled and disabled based on these timings. You can turn on and off snapping using the button in the top left. You can hold shift in order to snap to the nearest increment. And you can turn on or off looping on your video. If we unmaximize our node graph view for a moment, we can take a look at how the prefab data is actually working. By clicking on a prefab in your mapping panel, you can select the actual prefab data in your project view here. These are scriptable objects that get created by Complete360. They can be duplicated, edited, or used multiple times on different prefabs using the same data. If you'd like to edit what hotspot icon gets associated with your hotspot, just select your hotspot in the mapping panel and press the left or right arrows on your keyboard. To change the options available to you in your hotspot icons, navigate to Runtime, Hotspot, Resources, Icons, and find the Hotspot Icons PSD. From here, you'll see that it's a Unity texture that's been chopped up into multiple sprites. The top left corner is completely transparent, indicating that no icon is associated. You may also have noticed this white line with a little eye icon running through your mapping panel. By holding down the right mouse button, we can drag this line around. This is called the entry yaw marker, and it'll be used later on to determine the forward-facing direction of our users when they enter this node. 